Hello everyone, welcome to Java Tutorials. This is chapter number 7. In this chapter we are going to discuss the concept Java Modifier Types and Basic Operators. Modifier Types Modifiers are keywords that you add to those definitions to change their meanings. Java language has a wide variety of modifiers including the following. Java access modifiers and non-access modifiers. To use a modifier, you include its keyword in the definition of a class, method or a variable. The modifier precedes the rest of the statement as in the following example. Access control modifiers. Java provides a number of access modifiers to set access levels for classes, variables, methods, and constructors. The four access levels are visible to the package, the default, number of modifiers are needed, visible to the class only private, visible to the world public, visible to the package and all subclasses protected. non-access modifiers. Java provides a number of non-access modifiers to achieve many other functionality. Java provides a number of non-access modifiers to achieve many other functionality. Static modifier for creating class methods and variables. The final modifier for finalizing the implementations of classes, methods and variables. The abstract modifier for creating abstract classes and methods. The synchronite and volatile modifiers which are used for threads. Java provides a rich set of operators to manipulate variables. We can divide all Java operators into the following groups. Arithmetic operators, relational operators, bitwise operators, Logical operators, assignment operators, MISC operators. Let's start with arithmetic operators. Arithmetic operators are used in mathematical expressions in the same way that they are used in algebra. The following table lists the arithmetic operators. Assume integer variable A holds 10 and B holds 20. Then 10 plus 20 will give a 30 plus operator addition which adds value on either side of the operator minus a subtraction 10 minus 20 that will give us minus 10 subtracts right hand operand from left hand operand multiplication division modulus increment and decrement following a multiplies B gives 200, B divided by A, that gives you 2, that's 20 by 10. B percentage A will give 0, B plus plus incrementing B from 20 plus 1, that's 21. Decrementing B from 20, that's 20 minus 1, that's equal to 19. That's pretty much about the arithmetic operators in Java. The relational operators. There are following relational operators supported by Java language. Assume variable A holds 10 and variable B holds 20. Then the relational operator double equal to should check if the values of two operands are equal or not. If yes, then condition becomes true. Not equal to. Checks if the value of two operands are equal or not. If the values are not equal, then condition becomes true. A not equal to B is true. And the third operator is greater than. It checks if the value of the left operand is greater than the value of the right operand. If yes, then the condition becomes true. A greater than B is not true. As 10 is never greater than 20. Less than. Checks if the value of the left operand is less than the value of the right operand. If, the, if yes, then the condition becomes true. A less than B, that's 
10 less than 20 that's a true greater than or equal to checks if the value of the operand is greater than or equal to the value of the right operand if yes then the condition becomes true 10 is not equal to 20 10 is also not greater than 20 hence this statement is not true less than or equal to checks if the value of the left operand is less than or equal to the value of the right operand if yes then the condition becomes true 10 is less than 20 it's true and 10 is not equal to B but it's a or case hence the statement is true well that's in for the tutorial we hope you enjoyed the tutorial on Java we'll get back with more tutorials until then have a good day thank you bye